Hey everyone, it's Karen Jean and welcome back. Happy end of March. Tomorrow's April 1st. So, as you can see, I don't know if it's really coming across or not. It's um, the paper that I dyed. I dyed some purple. Very, I wanted it to be very, very pale. And I dyed some pink. And the pink I can barely see. Also, I was having an issue with the pink. I think I was trying to iron it when it was still too wet. So it got kind of linty on me. So there's there's a clue. Use a cool iron <laughs> and don't press down on it if it's really wet, if you're ironing really wet paper. Um, because the it got very, very linty. I was constantly cleaning off my iron. Anyway, so I'm not sure if you could really see this pink. Well, you can see that, I hope. That's pink. Um, let's see if you can see this spot right here. It looks like texture, but it's it's paper lint. Where the paper was kind of pulling up. So here's some pinks. The purples came out, especially these that were on the bottom came out better. I also want light blue, but I don't have any light blue. So I just sprayed some. So that's gonna take a couple of days Unless I move it to the oven, um, that's going to take a couple of days to dry. So I'm just going to put the, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, truth be told. Um, let's just leave it there for the moment. So this is the next journal. It's going to be a prayer journal. And the reason why I haven't made a prayer journal in a while, um, and I'm standing in the need of prayer, like we all are. I found this clearance $5. i um, thinking that's probably Michael's. Um, I was, I've been cleaning up and reorganizing a little bit. And so I found this in a drawer over there labeled stickers that I never go into anymore. And it is scripture verses and just, you know, just nice things. So I decided to make another prayer journal. As you can see, I've been using them already. I've pulled out some stuff. I'll show you what I've pulled out. Well, let me show you this first. Uh, I've decided to use this pretty, pretty fabric. It's like a watercolor fabric. I really like it. Purple, blue, green. And I trained it so well. And these, this pretty paper down here. So it's going to be like purple and gold, basically. But do you see, this is watercolor, too. I came from a watercolor paper pad. Uh, let me pull it out. From Michael's. Um, got this a couple years ago. Let's Wander. Voyons. Uh, I have a horrible French accent. I know I mispronounced that. So I made gusseted pockets here. So that's the cover. Now, the issue with this is it is eight and a half, but it's only five inches. So I'm going to have to trim the paper down an inch. Um, and then they, this is what I'm using for signature covers. I'm just going to do two signatures in here. And I have this one, which is from a 12 by 12 couple of pockets there and that's all that is I thought that's all that one is and then this one is also has um I flipped it over on the back for a back tuck as well now this these two sheets of paper are from this same paper pad and although it kind of cracked when I folded it in half I love this piece of paper because it's like the night sky with all the gold coming down. Um, it, it just reminds me of like the sunrise or the sunset, the uh, night sky. I love it. So I'm going to put that as a signature center. And then this one, uh, just beautiful colors. So these are the colors I'm going for, like a pale blue, a pale pink, a pale purple for the pages in the journal. Uh, what I've also pulled out is I went through my six by six paper pads and I, this is probably, um, but this is obviously gold dots and, uh, pink dots from two different paper pads. Uh, this 
is from, this is from a six by six paper pad. And I think I have it upside down. It went like this, right? And I just cut it in half. And I used another piece to line the back of it, the purple and the gold. And these are gonna be pockets. They are pockets. Uh, I did not gusset them at all, so. Um, but they are pocket pocketed journaling cards is what they are, right? Because you have all this beautiful space and a pocket for a journaling card. I went through my pre-made ephemera stash and I pulled a couple, I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but I pulled them out because I like them and I thought that they would go, you know, the purple, the blues, the gold. That needs to be, oh, let's see if we can glue it down with this. There. So this is a, excuse me, uh, a double, you know, triple pocket, actually, one, two, no, double pocket, whatever, over the side of a page, right? So I pulled that one out. I pulled this one out, which is just going to go straight on the page itself. And we have a pocket here, and then I might make it a side tuck, or I, I might even hinge it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, do with it. And then I also pulled out this one. Let the adventure begin. And this is another one that's going over the side of a page, right? And this one has the open window here for a tuck and then a tuck and a tuck. So I pulled that one out. And then uh, this is a, a hinged one, a flip pocket. I pulled it out because of the purple. Uh, this one, whoops, uh, another hinged window. That's just a hinged window flip out. Again, because of the colors, and this big one, which is purple, might be too big. But um, so that's what I did. I went through, I just went through my stash and pulled out those which I think might go in the journal. They would, I think they match for the journal anyway. And what I have here is I just have a couple of scraps there in case I needed to gusset something to gusset that pocket. And I have circles here. So I have two of those from the scraps, two of these purple ones, sorry, and then that gold one and this one with gold on it. So for clusters, six clusters, three in each signature, that's how that's going to work. I also have pulled out all the washi tapes that I might use, <laughs> that I might use. So let's take a look at them. Uh, we'll go with these two first. This is the, the new washi tape. Uh, it's pale purple with the gold. This is from my most recent washi purchase, right? And this is the pale pink with the gold. I don't know. I'm I know I used the, that purple one. I don't think I've used this pink one simply because of how hard it is to come off. But flowers and little butterflies and stuff probably not coming off on camera very well. This is just the blues with the gold dots. That will certainly go. These are just purple purple butterflies. These are like little purple seagulls, my birds. Me and my, my seagulls. You know how I love those seagull birds, the Jonathan. And this is just purple flowers. This is purple and pink. Um, now this is directional. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Uh, I don't know if it's supposed to look like crystals or what, but it is directional, so I'm not quite sure about that. And then this is just purple marbled, right? And this is the different uh, scenes it has. There's a butterfly, there's flowers, a green butterfly, more flowers, just different. You don't know what you're going to get <laughs> with this one. Let's get it back on there. And it's and it's not a very, you don't get a lot of washi tape on that one. So this is thus far what I have pulled out. I'm going to put those back here. Um, 
And there's my little project bucket. I'm going to, once again, put that down. I'm not going to do a hidden spine um, because it would make it even a thicker spine. This is obviously doubled over. The box is doubled over. It has um, Tyvek tape, double layers, two layers of Tyvek tape on either side, plus the heat and bond from the fabric on both sides. I mean, you hear that? That's a, and that's just a, I don't know, a, a brownie box or something. Not quite sure what kind of box it was. And uh, the stickers. So, and now that's just a extra piece in case I need to gusset something. So, so here are the pages. I've also ordered, you know how I have all that cream colored, uh, linen from my mother. I also had white linen or like a little off-white linen and that's all gone because I've used that up. So I ordered more of that. I'm not quite sure when it's going to get here. Uh, but I will continue this video probably in a couple of days um, or maybe I'll just do another video This is, and keep this one just a short little this is where we're at. This is what I'm thinking. And this here is full of paper, <laughs> but it's a little bit uh, bright fuchsia colored paper. Oh, there's some paler stuff in here. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to go through all this and figure out. Figure out, um, pull papers out and do more things. And again, the light blue, see I'm trying, I'm going for this type of blue, not this dark blue. This is all scraps. I've used all this paper. I should probably put this in the scrapbook. It could certainly make some matchbook, little, little matchbook um, journal things. I think I put it in here though, in case um, I need it to doctor pages. See most of this stuff in here is too dark too too dark like this one maybe but it's the only one there it's only a couple pages there so and this is how i store my hand dyed papers i got these plastic envelope folder things probably from amazon and i have a separate color in each one it keeps them contained <laughs> and i just have them stuck up on my in my one cubby over there. Also, I used a lot of paper doilies to try to get some texture down on the paper, but because they were so pale, I'm not quite sure. Let's see one page ripped. I'm not quite sure it came across. Also, these hardly have any color on them whatsoever. I mean, you can see a little bit of pink there, maybe. You got a little pink there. So this one is purple, but it's not like you can actually tell it's purple. These, I don't think, picked up any color whatsoever. So I'm just going to set these aside. Um, like the littler ones, I might put in a, the journal or a journal. Uh, the larger ones, I like to, I really just like to use them for texture um, on the, on the dyed page. You see there's some purple and pink color there. Um, so, so anyway, this is what we have going on thus far. Yeah, and it's gotten awfully dark here. Oh, I guess it's going to rain today. It's not quite spring weather, although I do know it's going to be up near 70 again in a couple of days. And I'm not going to complain about that because we get to open up all the windows again. So, uh, this is Karen Jean. Please, if you have any suggestions as to what we might be able to put in this journal or what you would like to see in this journal, any ideas for like journaling cards, um, I'd, I'd appreciate it. We could, we could make this an audience participation journal. There's a lot of good stickers in here that I will use to decorate the journal and also just like put a few pages, just tear out a couple of pages and put them in the journal so that whoever is the recipient of the journal has stickers to decorate and um, go on like that. Uh, 
Yeah, a prayer journal. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna, I think I have a prayer journal over there. Or is that a springtime journal? Let me go check. No, it seems, um, the prayer journals that I have made go very quickly, which is a nice thing, I guess. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a, isn't that lovely? <sighs> a spring journal. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm sure I have a flip through video somewhere. With the pocket. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm sure I have a flip through video somewhere on my channel. I need to go through, I should go through that paper pad and see what we have in there that might match. Oh, that's a fun little envelope tuck. See, this is what I'm going for. This type of paper is what I'm going for. Oh, see, here's a window envelope that I covered with a napkin. It's, look at that. Isn't that nice? That's a pretty butterfly. Mmm. Yep. We can put in some cards. Hold on. I've just pulled these two out. We can put in the journal. Okay, I need to pull that paper pad out. Look, here's a little double tuck with a doily. Envelope. No, that's the back of that card that I made into a pocket. Oh, and this. Hmm. Yeah, I could put another one of these in the book. <laughs> I need to take a look at through some of my older journals more frequently because. Two tuck spots. Yeah, I do stuff, and then I forget what I do, and then I'm like, oh, wow, look at this. This is pretty. Uh, what's a coloring page? Hmm. It's a pretty cool journal. It's a tuck spot. Wow. Another pocket. See what else I did. Little envelope pocket there. <laughs> That's a paper clip with a little tiny little tag. Look at that. Okay, well, <laughs> as I'm enjoying this journal, oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, this is really, what fun. Oh my gosh. Pockets and tuck spots and hidden things and more decorations. Okay, well, belly bands. Another one of those cute little, the little tabs, little paper clips. Wow, it's a big one, that's for sure. Four signatures, four signatures, whoops. And all the ribbon. bookmarks.
Okay, well, going off of this, let's pull out that pad of paper. I have two pads of paper here, both of which are falling apart. This one most definitely is falling apart. Also, I do not think, let's just take a quick look through. Nope, nope, nope. Orange. No, not orange. We don't want orange. Yeah, they're the wrong color. Nope. It's pretty, but... Green dots. This Nope. And this pad of paper is Recollections Blossoms and Bliss paper pad. I have no idea if they make it or not. Obviously, I got this at Michael's um, two, three years. All right, let's, we'll pull this out. Don't know if we're going to use it or not, but we could use it maybe for something. Um, doubt we'll use that. I'm just pulling stuff out, um, thinking they could be added in like those flip out tucks or um, wild and free bloom, grow wild. Uh, I like the color. I'm just not quite sure it's the right sentiment for a prayer journal. Oh, look at that one. That's a pretty pink. Okay, so I pulled out quite a few. Now, and this one is Park Lane, so this this is um, Joanne's. Park Lane is Joanne's. Well, that's pretty. That's also pretty, but no, this is very pretty. This is very pretty. <laughs> yep, there are a lot of I have there are a lot of favorites. In, okay, fine. Let's see what we have. Starting in the back, what does this say? Hello, joy, be kind, good things, playful. Mm, I do love this paper pad. The colors are definitely me. Look how pretty. Um, green is too dark. That's this is pretty. Now, you know I'm pulling out way more paper than I need to be pulling out. Um, yeah, I could just, I could pull that out too, but I'm not going to. I am not going to see that. I'm going to leave that in there. Whoops. This green one is also... Um, I'm going to leave that in there too, as well. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love the color. Polka dots make my eyes go wonky a little bit. Um, hmm.
It's very pretty. Now, you know, there's no way I could use all these papers. I mean, I guess there is. I can use these papers. I could just use them as paper in the journal. Um, but that would be an awful waste, I think. Thank you, Bella. The mail just got delivered. <laughs> and she needs to let us know that the mail gets delivered. Thank you, Bella. There we go. All right, I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop ripping out paper from the paper pads. Oh my goodness. I need to stop. What's the matter? Thank you, Bella. Thank you very much for letting me know the mail got here. All right, so let's, let's for fun, count how many pieces of paper we actually ripped out. Uh, we have one, two, now see how these have these things here. So one, two, three, I didn't read that one has to go back, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. This green does not match any of these greens. Actually, neither does that green. 11. So, I already know a couple are going to go back. I just, let me put back the ones that should go back. Let me pull out the... Hold on. Let's pull out this, and let's pull out this for the color of that, like, minty... that bluey green. Uh, that'll match. Let's take a look. That actually does match too. It's this butterfly green that we have to put away. All right, we'll put away the butterfly green. We'll keep these out, not to say we're gonna use them because <laughs> it's just, it's a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit too many papers. Just a little bit too many papers. Uh, figure out what to do with that. All right, so what does that leave us with? 11. Uh, we have these cards, which we will use as well because they're sparkly and pretty. And that's why I have them made into pockets in the other journal to cover out, to cover up that. So, yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, <laughs> here we go. We're going to get started soon on this journal. These papers I will just put back here on the project tray. Uh, I have a couple other things pulled out over there. And uh, these things I'll put away until the other paper gets delivered and the blue paper gets done drying. So, once again, this is Karen Jean from Ex Laborous Crafts. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you've enjoyed this preview of what is yet to come. And please, shoot me your ideas. I would love to make you part of this journal. Let your imagination run wild. Thanks for stopping by.